Hi guys, today I want to quickly share you a handy and useful tool named Stateverse REST Builder. So this tool can help us create and execute requests against the, the Dataverse web API endpoint. So there are three ways to run this tool. The first is use the web browser extension. The second is use the XRM toolbox. The third way is uh, we can just we can download uh, the managed solution, the import into our uh, Dynamics ER e e e environment. Then we just open the uh, the module map. Then you can uh, run this tool. Okay, so today I will use uh, the first way is use web browser. I just uh, uh, the web browser extension. So first thing, let's go to the uh, Chrome Web Store, then find this tool, then add to Chrome. Okay, now that we have uh, added this one, let's open it. Okay, so firstly, let's uh, input the environment URL here. Uh, let me give it a URL. Here, then get a okay, success token. Okay, now uh, we have connected uh, to the uh, the D D365 environment. Then we just click New Collection here click new request so uh but here we, we can retrieve multiple uh records so you know today i just quickly share this tool i think you you can uh spend more time uh, to look into this tool to to uh better utilize this tool yeah okay so i would uh, i will retrieve multiple records then you can see there are so many ways uh, to request the data. Uh, so for the configure, uh, it, this is a configure. You know, after we we have finished the configuration, so all these other uh, ways, I mean, uh, they will be created automatically based on the configuration on this tab. Okay, so let me just pick some uh, fields. Uh, so here. Uh, let me choose the table. I want to choose the contact. Contact. Okay. Then uh, the column. I I want to choose the uh, the account. The contact name. Okay. Input name just first name uh user name yeah it's fine i just yeah that, that's it just for example okay um filter uh maybe i can choose the status okay status uh, operator maybe equals active and order maybe order by by the name should be uh, like the first name. Okay, so that's it. Uh, we can, okay, let's try the first one. You can see this is the XRM web API. We can use this code. We can just copy this code, paste into uh, our JavaScript, or maybe we can use it uh, in the web browser directly. So for example, we copy this code, then we go to here, uh, uh, we just uh, open this uh, inspection tool, uh, no, inspector, then go to the console, uh, clear, then just paste here. You can see uh, the result, it, it, it got 16 records here. So you can see all contacts is 16, right? I think all of them are active. So yeah, you can see all the details. Okay, this is the first way for uh, XM tool, uh, XM 
dot web API. You can use it use it in the JavaScript. The first is fetch. It's sim. We can also use this. It's a, it's a, another way to to retrieve data in JavaScript. We can also copy and paste into into our JavaScript directly. Yeah. The third is jQuery. Uh, I really use this. Uh, so just leave it here. XHR. No, I I rarely use this and yeah almost not use this portal okay this is portal portal i i didn't try this code but it seems like it is supposed to be uh, to be uh able to support our you know power apps portal so maybe you know in in the portal we can run javascript right javascript so we can maybe we can maybe if you have time you can try I to copy this code into the uh, uh, the portal. Go to the the form, like the, the web form. Go to the JavaScript uh, section, then paste there. You can try uh, to see if it works. I think it should be it should be fine. It should be it, it should work. Okay, the next editor. So it, it's why we uh, we, we will not use this uh, result because you know uh, the code here they cannot run. In in a uh, web browser, in, in here, uh, in web browser, nor in um, XM toolbox, but it can work in Dynamics three uh, three six five environment. That means the edit uh, the, the result tab or editor can be used when you uh, import the managed solution into your. Uh, Dynamic 365 environment, then you can use the, uh, the two tabs. Okay, the next is Power Automate. This is very useful. Uh, you know, when we create the Power Automate flow, sometimes maybe we, for example, for the uh, list rules, sometimes we need to set up some filter, like uh, filter and uh, select the columns, you know, you know uh, to, to, uh, to uh, it's, it's better for the system performance, right? We, we, we need it. It's not necessary to retrieve all columns. We can just pick some uh, columns. So we can use this. We can just copy and paste there. Filter is same. We can just copy and paste. Yeah. And here, okay, all these rules, we can just copy and paste. Very, uh, very useful. And the next is for faster XML. Um, yeah. Nothing special. Uh, Power Query here and grid. So the grid here that means we can see the retrieve results from from this tab. Let's try refresh. Okay, so you can see we we have got the sixteen records should be seen with the the, the environment, right? So the the, the column is 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 um. Is what we have specified in the in the configure tab, right? So um, I think that's it. Uh, I think uh, maybe just I uh, I think this tool is is strongly recommended um, during our you know day to day job. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, see you next time.